Fine. Now, what is DHCP? DHCP random pathina. DHCP expands to dynamic host configuration protocol. DHCP is used to provide IP address to multiple computers. Imagine you have one single computer. One computer la IP address configure panana. It's very simple. You just need to log into the computer and go to control panel and uh, type IP address, subnet mask, default gateway, and DNS information. The la manual type pantagana, that computer will get the IP address. It's very simple. So I go with ncpa.cpl. Okay, so this is the default IP address of the computer. This is the default IP address of the computer. This is the default IP address of the computer. This is the default IP address of the computer. This is the default IP address of the computer. This is the default IP address of the computer. This is the default IP address of the computer. This is the default IP address of the computer. Second is your subnet mask, third default gateway, and fourth is DNS. Where you have IP address or you can go online or you cannot use the internet service or any services you can say. So by default, we need four informations, IP address, subnet mask, default gateway, and DNS. So if you have only one computer, it's very easy. For a single computer, so, it's easier to get coffee. But what if you have uh, hundreds of PCs? It's not easy to configure everything and manage it, right? So, on that condition, we can use DHCP services. So, DHCP services can be used at that particular instant. Notepad. DHCP services are the services which can provide IP details with other parameter to a end device. Other parameter, now I'm talking about the subnet mask, default gateway, DNS. Okay. So in DHCP services, we can run on a router or on a server. Print lay me run man la. DHCP service. This is a service that is a configuration. Let me run it. Let me work on it. Okay. So with the basic information, let's go inside. So let's see. In the world of TCP IP, the term host refers to any device with an IP address, your computer, your phone, tablet, printer, router, switch, etc. Using DHCP, you're going to provide IP address to the host. Because no matter what type of host we use, they need to have an IPv4 address or IPv6 address. But in CCNA, we have only IPv4. So as I told you, IP address, it's not only IP address. You have to give subnet mask, default gateway, and DNS information also. So let's see what is DHCP. <laughs> So dynamic host configuration protocol provides one of the most commonly used services in a TCP IP network. DHCP is the main job in to give IP address to a lot of devices. I can say n number of devices. Once a DHCP server gives an IP address to computers, these IP address will be allocated to the computers for 24 hours, which is called lease time. 24 hours is my lease time. Parmanta Gurdra Mata. Kudukum Bodhya Suluwa. In the Marie, you can keep this for 24 hours. But peace in the Rampanawa. 2 hours Mudium Bode, it will send a renew packet. Renew Pan Suluwa. Renew Panna again, they will get 24 hours extra. So every 2 hours, your devices will try to renew the IP address which server gave. Now DHCP, how is it working? It's working based on DORA process. DORA. So everyone has seen cartoon, right? Yes or no? DORA Bhuji? Yes, sir. Adukku edukku sammanna illa. So yosikya niye. So DORA process. 
அப்படி என்ன பார்த்தீங்கன்னா டோரா எக்ஸ்பேன்ஸ் டு சம் கீவேர்ட்ஸ் தே ஆர் எக்ஸ்பேன்ஸ் டு டிஸ்கவர் ஆஃபர் ரெக்வஸ்ட் அக்னாலஜ்மெண்ட் ஓகே ஸோ டிஎச்சிபி இஸ் அ கிளைண்ட் சர்வர் மாடல் விச் மீன்ஸ் யூ ஹாவ் அ பிசி அண்ட் யூ ஹாவ் அ சர்வர் அண்ட் பிசி ஆக்டிங் ஆஸ் அ கிளைண்ட் அண்ட் சர்வர் ஆக்டிங் ஆஸ் அ சர்வர் ஸோ டிஎச்சிபி இஸ் அ கிளைண்ட் சர்வர் மாடல் and dhcp is a udp based protocol dhcp vand tcp based protocol illa id vand udp based protocol and it uses port number 67 for servers and 68 for clients lot of people they will change it marandruvaanga adu they normally say 67 na client 68 server nu solluvaanga but apdi illa konja reverse aagum vechukenga neenga 68 na client 67 na ungaloda server now let's see how dhcp or dora process works imagine that you have a pc enta oru pc irukku oru server irukku by default ah pc la ip address illa ip address illa na amoda ip enna va irukum it will be 0.0.0.0 initially when i don't have ip address and somebody have enabled dhcp on my pc how to enable dhcp on pc if you see clearly here or option irukum ungalukku yeah that's clear obtain ip address obtain i obtain an ip address automatically inge <coughs> potta irukla indha mari click pannunga na automatically avanga device vande ip address vaanga try pannu from dhcp server so once someone enables dhcp service on your pc pc od ip address 0000 maybe enoda server ip address vande 10.001 nadichikalam appo enna pannuvaana pc will send a discover packet discover packet to discover the available dhcp server in my network so in discover packet the source ip will be what that was a question kindly answer 0.0.0 correct 0.0.0.0 but destination ip will not be server's ip ena yaarume poi solala pc kitta idhu dhaan destination ip nu solli but destination ip or server ip unu theriyave theriyadu because i am going to discover server i don't know who is server that's why you are discovering it right so destination ip will be 255.255.255 which is my broadcast ip address so in the ip information in the packet inge po discover po once my dhcp server receives discover packet he will reply back he will reply back with an offer message So in this offer message, what will be the source IP address? The offer message. 10.0.0.1 Source will be 10.0.0.1 And decision will be what? 0. No. Oh. A packet cannot go to 0.0.0.0. Oh. So obviously it will be YPL. It will be broadcast again. so discover is a broadcast packet offer is a broadcast packet so offer la enala po adin pathina see sent by dhcp server to offer to lease to that client as a specific ip address and informs the client of its other parameters which means ip address so other parameters like your subnet mask default gateway and dns information all detail e vandu server inform pannuva i mean it is going to show kaata dhan pora kudukka porad illa see offer means when you buy something they give you offer it's a, it's up to you whether you should accept the offer or not so offer na it's not giving we have a clarity on this so offer means my server is telling my client that hey this ip address is it okay for you ah apdi kekpa adukku i reply pannanum i vanda request pannuva request means it's not uh, request means i'll just asking hey i'm okay with ip address la kuduthu pa 
அப்படி சொல்றான் சோ ரெக்வஸ்ட் வந்து வில் அகேன் கோ ஃப்ரம் மை பிசி டு மை சர்வர் ரெக்வஸ்டிங் ஃபார் தி மெசேஜ் விச் இஸ் ஆஃபர்டு பை ஆஃபர் மெசேஜ் ரெக்வஸ்டிங் ஃபார் தி ஐபி அட்ரஸ் விச் வாஸ் லிஸ்டட் இன் தி ஆஃபர் மெசேஜ் அகேன் த ரெக்வஸ்ட் பேக்கெட்ல சோர்ஸ் ஐபி என்னவா இருக்கும் ஒரு <laughs> who is this guy so that's the reason why i found this guy the session ip will be 10.001 okay fine adukapra at last once he request has been received by my dhcp server my dhcp server will reply with that last message called uh, acknowledgement message so acknowledge message la vande it will keep all the information like ip address subnet mask default gateway and dns information and it will give it to my pc so in all these things if you carefully see initially your pc's ip address was 0000 and your uh, server was able to, i was able to find out server with help of broadcast local broadcast in the network <clears throat> this you have to keep in mind and more keep uh, points will be in the points la avanga chekona ninge port numbers and these dora messages so this is how everything works in the network in the dhcp servers edana question iruka adala idla vand host act as a client and third point irukleng host ama adhe idu vandu host na computers okay can be a computer it can be any device that end needs device. an ip address yeah any device yes client okay. and host na adana ah so if a dhcp server ku vandu multiple or rendu client request kudukka mudiyadengala one by one dana pogum laya serial request it can be given okay so nam andha mari scenario paapom by default the dhcp ki there can be more than one request given okay appo more than one request varappa vandute simultaneously adu eppadi and ip vandute set pannu because ella source me broadcast anupudhu so host or naal host vandute irukku request pannadha appo naal ip vandute offer pannuma aama naal naal vera ip offer pannu correct okay appo naal ip um vandute ஒன்ஸ்ட் uh, request message la ever request panuva enak endha ip venum solittu adha than he will confirm it okay so app and the request confirm panita appadina and the ip vandu idukku reserve pannido so meedi moonu ip da matha moonu host vandu ha eduthukka mudiyum correct yes okay so idhu vandu dynamic process da so ella vandu dynamic da yes sir ஒருக்கேன்ட <laughs> 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 நாலு பிசில இருந்து ரெக்வஸ்ட் போகுது சர்வருக்கு போகுது சர்வர் ரிப்ளை பண்ணும்போது நாலு ஐபி ரிப்ளை பண்ணுவோம் ஓகே ஓகே ம் சோ சோ தெரிஞ்சிக்க தேவ இல்ல அதுக்கு தேவ இல்ல இல்லையா 
தெரிஞ்சுப்பா தெரிஞ்சுக்கிறதுக்கு இவனோட மேக் அட்ரஸ் யூனிக்கா இருக்குல்ல பேக்கெட்ல வி ஹாவ் தி சென்டர் மேக் அட்ரஸ் ரைட் மேக் அட்ரஸ் யூனிக்கா இருக்கும்ல ஒரு பீஸ்லயும் ஸோ அதை பேஸ் பண்ணி ஈ கேன் ஃபைண்ட் அவுட் எந்த மேக் அட்ரஸுக்கு எந்த ஐபி தரேன்னு சொல்லிட்டு ஓகே சார் ஒரு பேக்கெட் போகுதுன்னா அதில் உங்களுக்கு சோர்ஸ் ஐபி டெசிஷன் ஐபி சோர்ஸ் மேக் இருக்கும்ல அதில் சோர்ஸ் மேக் வச்சு ஹி கேன் ஃபைண்ட் அவுட் தட் ஆப்ஷன் ஈஸ் தேர் நோ லெட் சி ஹவு டு கான்ஃபிகர் டிஎச்சிபி சர்வர் ஸோ ரெண்டு மெத்தட் இருக்கு ஒன்று வந்து யூசிங் யுவர் டேரக்ட் சர்வர் இட் செல்ஃப் செகண்ட் மெத்தட் யூசிங் அ ரவுட்டர் ஒரு ரவுட்டரையும் வந்து நம்மளால கான்ஃபிகர் பண்ண முடியும் ஆஸ் அ டிஎச்சிபி சர்வரா so using dhcp server i will be doing with graphical user interface gui which pannala simple da adu it won't be that much hard and all so once you connect make sure you give an ip address to this interface fa0/0 adu ip tharadhukku you have to click on configure the interface then i give the ip address 10.001 that's all now இப்போ சர்வர் என்ன என்னது சர்வரில் வந்து வி கேன் ஹாவ் மல்டிபிள் சர்வீசஸ் ரன்னிங் தட் கேன் ஹாவ் எஃப்டிபி சர்வீஸ் டிஎஃப்டிபி சர்வீஸ் டிஎன்ஆர் சர்வீஸ் டிஎச்சிபி சர்வீஸ் ஸோ இதில் யூ வாண்ட் ரன் டிஎச்சிபி சர்வீஸ் விச் மீன்ஸ் யூ ஹாவ் டு கிளிக் ஆன் சர்வீசஸ் தென் இதில் ஆப்ஷன் இருக்குது பாருங்கள் இதில் செகண்ட் ஆப்ஷன் யூ ஹாவ் டிஎச்சிபி கிளிக் ஆன் திஸ் ஸோ நார்மலாக ஒரு கம்ப்யூட்டர்னா யூ ஹாவ் டு கிவ் ஃபோர் இன்ஃபர்மேஷன்ஸ் ரைட் can somebody tell me what are the four informations you have to give one is ip address then subnet mask ip address subnet mask and the default gateway default then dns ip yes so let's give all the four information default gateway let it be 10.001 so let's give all the four information default gateway let it be 10.002 dns let it be 8.8.8.8 now range of ip address see when a group of computers going to ask you ip address right you have to have a a bunch of ip address so here you, you i'm defining a range of ip address so start ip i'm telling 10.00 100 and i'm using sm mask as 255000 which means i am going to have ip address starting from 10.00 100 laram vachu 10.255.255.254 இது வரைக்கும் ஐம் கோயிங் டு யூஸ் ஐபி அட்ரஸ் சோ இவ்ளோ ஐபி ஐ கேன் அசைன் டு தீஸ் மெனி கம்ப்யூட்டர்ஸ் ஐ கேன் யூஸ் சோ தட்ஸ் தி ரேஞ்ச் சோ ஹியர் யூ டிஃபைன் தி டிஃபால்ட் கேட்வே which is done இது முடிஞ்சது தென் யூ டிஃபைன் டிஎன்எஸ் சர்வர் இது முடிச்சாச்சு ஸ்டார்ட் ஐபி அட்ரஸ்ல வந்து யூ ஆர் டிஃபைனிங் தி ரேஞ்ச் ஆஃப் ஐபி அட்ரஸஸ் டு பீ அசைன்ட் தென் யூ ஆர் கிவிங் தி சப்னெட் மாஸ்க் Now, once you've done everything, click on On, then click on Save. Now, here you got everything. Now, let's go back to the computer and turn on DHCP service to enable DHCP. <coughs> click on this, Desktop, <coughs> IP Configuration, DHCP. Now, see, I got IP address, right? All of them. Three ping apart here. desktop ip configuration dhcp <coughs> that's all now i got the ip address here also so this was the first method in which i'm going to enable dhcp on a server now what if i'm going to use a router let's delete it delete yes ஈவன் நம்ம ரவுட்டரை கூட ஒரு டிஎச்சிபி சர்வராக ஆக்ட் பண்ண வைக்க முடியும் லெட் சி ஹவ் ஐம் கோயிங் டு கான்ஃபிகர் இட் ஸோ லெட்ஸ் டேக் ஒன் எயிட் ஃபோர் ஒன் ரவுட்டர் தென் ஐ வில் கனெக்ட் தம் யூசிங் அ கேபிள் சிஎல்ஐ நோ இன்டர்ஃபேஸ் எஃப்ஏ ஜீரோ ஸ்லாஷ் ஜீரோ no shut down that's it so once you have configured ip address let's see how can i configure dhcp service 
I'll write down the command first in notepad. So first configure terminal. Then IP DHCP pool. Any name you can give. Network. What network you want to provide? Or what is the range of IP address you want to give? Default router. This defines the default gateway IP address. DNS server. This defines the DNS server IP address. All of them. So, if you have a graphical method, la, server la on the pool name, we have, I have given my name, or else give Rhinos itself. Then we have given, we have defined network information with subnet mask, then default gateway information, then DNS server information. Let's configure the same here also. IP DHCP pool Rhinos network 10.00. 10 255000 default router 10.001 dns server 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8 .8. that's it now let's go back to my pc0 static waiter therapy number the panel now i got the ip address here right 10.002 Default rate 10.001, separate mask 255.000, DNS is 8.8.8.8. .8 now, this is how you configure DHCP service on a router. Like PCs get IP address, right? We can also give IP address to a router. Like, I keep in the interface on the config on a vana. I can simply go to this router's interface. I will say IP DHCP, no enable configure terminal interface FA0 slash 0, no shutdown. IP address DHCP. So if I give IP address DHCP in the interface, the IP address automatic as an arrow DHCP. I mean, under router IP. Now, if I check show IP interface brief. Here you can see method is DHCP. Let's wait for some time to get an IP address. It will get the IP address. If you configure IP address manually, method one is manual. If you want to get IP address via DHCP, it will show method as DHCP. Okay. Okay, so do you have any doubts or question till now? Please ask me. Oh, we got the IP address. So it, it gave me 10.003 as an IP address. Okay. Is it clear, everyone? Uh, if you want to use the router, you can use Yes, yes. Okay, basically, in the DHCP, we use the IP address. The DHCP is the IP address. If you use the IP address, you can the IP address. Okay. If you use the IP address, you can use the IP address. DHP service mole automatically you can get the IP address. Okay. So uh in our router motor configure panama DHP enable panama. Switch name panamodema. Switch IP address. L3 la IP address and Yirka, the L3 la kicker. Panla. Anything, any device which needs IP address, we can use. Okay. Hmm. Command is same. Number VLAN full of it, you can type IP address. I sorry, okay. DHC in Polo. Other Namatania or range IP range, it's a clock. Okay. Yeah, VLAN perspective. Yeah, anything else? Okay. 
if DHCP is not enabled, so we need to manually uh, set IP uh, on the host. Oh, they are more normal process. So far, we yeah. are doing that only, right? Okay, okay. So that, that's why in uh, PC, the networking setup, so uh, choose IP address dynamically, correct? Yes. Okay. Okay. Any questions? Any more? No. That's all for me. And Kasturi, Deepa, Abhilash? Yeah, clear. Yes, sir. Clear. Abhilash? <clears throat> okay. Thanks. Now, we have a problem here. Let's see what is the problem is all about. Initially, my discovery message is a broadcast message. Am I correct? Yeah. Which means if my DHCP server is beyond a router, imagine my DHCP server is here. And he needs IP address via DHCP. If he is sending a DHCP discover packet, will it reach the server or not? Reach Agad, sir. Here is Agad. Router allow Panad, sir. Correct. Router by default, the uh, broadcast allow Panad. Apo, Ingia the Apora packet, Ingia drop. So, in that condition, what can I do? Is it only way that my DHP server has to be within my LAN network? What if multiple LANs want to use same DHP server? So, in that condition, it is not possible. A pen up on Lana, we can use something called relay agent. Now, who is a relay agent? First of all, what is relay? Relay under the English law? Broadcast. Nalla guess sir. Relay under the English law. No, it will broadcast. Depend on the internet. Okay. Based on condition, it will uh, uh, send the packets. See, now general as well, no, be na spread for no. Okay. No, na be na simple kya kare. Do you guys know about relay race? Kili putri kila. Ah, particular input avachya the output. No. Exactly match pani output. Technical na paste lai the main ge. And he will give this uh, pipe or something to other person, he will run. Correct. So same thing we're going to use here. Same thing concept to relay agent. Now what is relay? You guys understood, right? Passing down the information from one person to other person for some reason. Obviously in the game level, the the left level trick person is a conduct to full round. He have to give it to this guy, and this guy need to carry it to the end place. Correct. So Adi the engagement rather. So obviously, my discover packet cannot reach server because a router is there in between and broadcast packet drop error by default. Apenna pallana, in order incoming interface, idhen paate, on the interface la I can configure IP helper address and I can give the address of my DHCP server. See the topic name is DHCP relay. But the configuration is IP helper address. If you the interface, you can the IP helper address 172.16.2.11, which is my server IP address. If you want the broadcast packet, see this packet from N2. It's a unicast packet. Unicast amari in the interface, it will go to my DHCP server. And one more important point what you have put down is that normally R1 lane or packet 
எஸ் ஒன்னுக்கு போகுதுன்னா சோர்ஸ் ஐபி என்ன ஐபியா இருக்கும் கன்ஃபிகர்ட் <laughs> IPL per address command. In the interface, you can use IPL per command. So, if you use the source IP in the interface, the destination IP server will go. Simple. This method of configuring, this is, the, this is called Relay Agent, DHCP Relay Agent. We configure okay. IPL per address on the LAN facing interface on a router so that my broadcast packet can be sent to a dhcp server idu pannana inge drop aayirum that helper address undittu ip address undittu differ aguma illa it is same thing it will be whose ip address yaar ip address id ip server or server dhcp server id okay what was your question you asked like in the ip address vandu it differ aite irukuma it can differ avud unga server ip address nu adha nange irukano okay adhu differ avadilla sambandham illa so basically router both r1 and r2 have the entry uh, in the router table for this tcp server right obviously yes it should be appo okay, uh, uh, like uh, just transferring other tokens it will be direct yes it, but it has a special meaning to say Yes. Is it clear? This uh, point of using helper address. Okay, I have configured this. So in, in this case, if we have a different broadcast domain, so we will uh, configure the IP ranges uh, in, for each broadcast domain. புரியல क्वेश्चन புரியல எனக்கு சோ இப்போ வந்துட்டு எனக்கு இந்த இந்த செட்டிங்ஸ் கான்ஃபிகரேஷன்ல எனக்கு ரெண்டு ப்ராட்காஸ்ட் டொமைன் ஒன்னு ரெண்டு இருக்குன்னு வெச்சுக்கோங்கல சோ r1 இல்ல ஒன்னு r2 ஒரு ப்ராட்காஸ்ட் டொமைன் இருக்கு சோ இப்போ டிஜிசிபி சர்வர் வந்துட்டு ஒவ்வொரு ப்ராட்காஸ்ட் டொமைனுக்கும் தனித்தனி செட் ஆஃப் ஐபி ரேஞ்ச் வந்து வெச்சிருக்கோம் ஓகே சோ தட் வாஸ் a nice question i'll answer you that question now wait yeah. imagine that you have a router and your router is acting as a dhcp server hmm clear yeah. hmm so you configure dhcp service on the router yes and you we will be using different ip addresses right in this right. places right. so depending on what ip range you are using inside the network statement and by ip address in command is control la Hmm. and the in the in the command there is a command here it is depending on what network statement you use it will be matching with your interface ip addresses right so it will be unique so okay. over server ku i can have multiple pools we can have more than one number of pools inside a single server okay for example if i take one server here idu hmm. kulla i can click on services dhcp i can create add add more number of services yeah pool one could i right. can add pool two i can add in the mari you can run multiple yes okay so that simple thank you so this is all about your ip helper address so let's check on the lab part so here uh, let's disable or let's uh, disconnect this link the link eduthalam inde eduthitta i'll be using one more router in between let's pick up one more router 1841 enable 
show IP interface brief. So here I have configured 10.0.0 to, sorry, one port again. So let me configure FA0 slash one as 10.0.0 to enable FA0 slash one IP address 10.0.0 to 255.0.0.0, no shutdown. Let's configure IP address on FA0 slash zero also. Interface FA 0 slash 0, IP address 12.001.255.0.0.0, no shutdown. Now, obviously, I have to go and change my DHCP pool on this interface. In a, in a, I'm going to use, if I'm using 12.001, obviously, all my devices will be in 12 network. So, I have to change the configuration here. No. DHCP pool, Rhinos. Let us change the configuration to something else. Here I'm going to use 12 network. 12.001 is my IP address. Let me show you one more thing. <clears throat> if I use 12.000, 255000 or my DHCP pool, in that case, if someone is asking the IP address, what will be the first IP address which will be generated or created? or given to my device. What's the first IP in this range? Uh, 12.0.0.1. But as you can see, in the IP, one of already called for in the interface. La. In the interface IP, the 12.0.0.1. Mm. Server is IP. And two. Is it normal? The, is it OK if I give same IP address to my computer also no no right but how can i inform how i'm going to inform my dhcp service that hey do not use this ip address because i already been using it we have to use some line called exclude statement ip dhcp excluded address and you have to give the addresses or range i can type ip dhcp excluded address 12.001. To put the dana in the IP mode tarada because na manual la will device check the IP put the It can be your uh, so uh, maybe we can say it's already in use. Yeah, Except that's, that that's, that's what it. we are telling here. It's already I have used it to a different server or any device. Do not you do not give even though this IP comes in your range, you do not use it. Yeah. Now, if I go back to my R3, let's configure the DHCP service. I configure it. Let's try it out. PC0 Kupala, static DHCP. It will not get the IP address because Hello. my discover packet in gate drop iron. Now you can see if you don't if you don't get reply from someone or if a DHCP service doesn't replies back, what is the IP address you're getting? What is the IP you're getting? It is 169.254 IP address. 169.254.x.x. .x. The more IP you're getting. This is called, this is called APIPA. Automatic private IP address. So whenever there is a DHCP fail in my network, in that case, my computer automatically assigns itself an APIPA IP address. That is how popping in whenever there's a DHCP fail, mostly most of the cases. Now, now why I'm not getting up IP address here? Yeah, I'm not getting up DHCP here. Why? DHCP So, I'm not discover packet. Maybe I'm not going to go. Why? DHCP discover is a broadcast packet. A router do not allow a broadcast packet. So to overcome this problem, we have to use helper address command. So interface FA0 slash 0, IP helper address, IP helper address, and the actual DHCP service or IP address. Let's see if I can ping that guy.
Okay, the ping is working. No problem. Let's see if I can get the IP address now. Okay. Let's see if I can ping using my source IP address 12.001. 10.001. .001. Sorry, ping, enter, enter. Target IP 10.001. Yes, sir. Source IP is 12.001. So by default, from 12.001, that you cannot ping. That was the reason why the even the packets are not moving there. You know, three are so let's enable simply an OSPF to for the reachability purpose. I'm going to enable OSPF in all interface. So command will be router OSPF 10 network 0, 0.0 area 0. Did I miss one zero anywhere? Dark. This means enable OSPF on all the interface. Router OSPF 10 network 0.0.0.0. 0. 0. 0. 0. Let's wait for some time to see tool network here. Okay, I think I should have used 255. Wildcard muscle, 255 dot, 255 dot, 255. Let's wait for some time for the OSPF to come up. As of now, it is in two-way state. Okay, now I can see my 10 network and 12 network here. I mean, it's already there because it's connected. So, in the I should see 12. Okay, I still don't see 12 network here. Let me try to ping. Okay, 12.001 ping out. Let's go to this guy. Start. Okay, now I got the IP address. So, now we can see once I got the reachability done. We got the IP address. So most people initially when they do lab, they don't configure any protocol between these two guys. And they will keep on asking me that hey, I didn't got the IP address. I configured helper address, but the IP address was the they will tell. There was a reason why I showed you in two phases. So you have to configure a protocol because that's how reachability can happen. So once you got the reachability, you will IP address. So that was all about your DHCP services in IPv4 network. You can, we can go with JNS3. Uh, in JNS3, it will be, you can go with Wireshark capture. In Wireshark capture, uh, if you have any doubts, once you go through Wireshark, you can ask me anytime. So if you have any doubt in DHCP now, please ask me or else we are good to go.